Moving on, uh, moving on to a different topic now, and it's similar to the midpoint, but it's a little bit different now in the fact that we don't want to find the exact middle of the point. We want to find a certain section of the point that divides it in a way that we want it to. So in this problem it says, find the segment, the point, so we're looking for a point along this line segment that partitions the segment in a ratio of 1 to 4. So let's talk about this. A ratio of 1 to 4, that means we want something along this line so that if we divided it up equally, we'd have one part here and four parts here. Okay, that's what it means. It means we want to split it up so that there's one part on one side of our point. So let's say this was our point. There's one part on one side of that point and four parts on the other part. Okay, to do that, now if you noticed, 1 to 4, if I were to divide this in a ratio of 1 to 4, that's going to give us 5 parts. That's important. It's going to give us 5 total, total parts. Kind of like how I explained in the midpoint video, we're going to take this line segment, find the horizontal distance between the lines, and the vertical distance between the lines, and divide them by 5. Okay, so the horizontal distance, this problem actually works out nicely, was 10, and the vertical distance was 5. So what we're going to do is divide these by 5, because there's 5 total parts. Divide by 5, divide by 5. When I do that, I get 2, and when I do that, I get 1. What that means is, every time I go over 2 and up 1, I've made a part, really. So I'm going to start down at this end right here, and I'm going to go over 2, up 1. Over 2, up 1. Over 2, up 1. Sorry, a little bit of lag on my screen there. Over 2 and up 1. And now what you'll notice is I've divided this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. And our goal was to find the point that splits it in a ratio of 1 to 4. And the point that splits it in a ratio of 1 to 4 is this point right here. That's the one that splits it 1 on the one side, 4 on the other. And so the coordinates of this point, as we can see, is negative 2, comma, 1. So that's our answer to our problem here, negative 2, comma, 1. But the bottom line is, we need to take, find the total number of parts over here. Find the total number of parts and then divide the horizontal and the vertical distance by that number of parts. And that will tell us how many up and over to go. Let's try a few practice problems in the next videos.